you, again, these are three of the best. Kevin Samuels, Alpha Male Strategies, Coach Greg Adams. Like AMS just said about Coach, that gray is called wisdom. You didn't look, you lived, you've learned. Now I'm gonna slide over to this alpha male strategies and uh, Coach Greg Adams video. This is about an eight minute video. I'm gonna stop it in between, but these brothers had a great, great conversation. This is fair use. So you're gonna see act actually them talking and engaging with each other and sharing stories. Let's go. <laughs> All right. How did you get into the red pill, Coach? Shoot, man. Uh, I remember just going through dealing with some issue with with a woman you know i think uh you know people know i got divorced but it, that wasn't even it mm -hmm. um the the reason i got into the red pill i was dating some girl some young, young girl she had me by the nose like this mm -hmm. you know she had me uh doing stuff simping i was simping bad i was oh, simping man. bad and she oh, had man. me up she had me looking up stuff and i remember this girl was like you know i'm looking up on online uh should i let my girlfriend go to dinner with her ex-boyfriend all right oh, <laughs> that's man. Right. Oh, uh, how old was you, Coach? Shit, I was, I was, uh, what is my now? Forty. I was probably like thirty-eight. God damn, Coach! Yeah. God damn, oh, you the old I'm gonna, myself, I'm gonna get myself the buzzer on that one, bro. God damn, Coach! Thirty-eight, fellas, stop fucking feeling bad, bro. It takes a while. Like Kevin said, we get socialized. He went from being raised as a simp, like most of us then learning some pimp game, then falling back into the simp culture and the simp idea because it's hard to shake that. But ladies, let me tell y'all something. When it's broke, it's broke. A lot of y'all think y'all getting over, but you're shooting yourself and other women in the foot because that dude that you screwed over, you don't know if you're the straw that broke the camel's back. And now he back in the dating pool and giving your sisters in arms a bunch of hell. But guess what? You screwed yourself over with a good man. Now you screwed over a number of other women with a good man as well. And y'all do that shit to each other. That's why there's so many dudes that find this red pill space, like Coach Greg just said, because this is similar to my story and how I came here. And it took me five years. I just started my YouTube in 22, but I started having these thoughts and ideas back in 16. Found Kevin Samuels in 17. Said, let me start scaling, scaling myself up. Started falling into finding other brothers, AMS, Coach Greg, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. It just kind of rolled. Salute the brother Obsidian. I started finding these other cats and like, okay. And it wasn't like, oh, I'm gravitating to them because I am I hate women so much. No, I gravitated to them because it confirmed what I was already thinking. If you're already thinking it, gentlemen, you've, have, you've already lived it. Again, Kevin Samuels, you cannot argue with the lived experience. We can throw facts, data, statistics out there. That's fine. It just happened to match up with so many men are experiencing, but don't negate your personal experience. I'm going to keep letting them cook. Hey, well, what hey. happened was, this is what happened. what happened. Let me give the story. I'm going to tell the story. So okay. after I got after I got divorced and split up, I went through my whole phase, bro. I was just like, that was when Instagram was popping. That was when Tinder and, and Plenty of Whales was just out. So right. I'm, I'm banging everything. I'm just going out like crazy. Mm -hmm. But I got with this therapist, all right, right. that, uh, you know, you know, they were like, oh, you know, w walk you through your divorce. And they were like, and it was a guy. He was like, you know, you should give a relationship another try. You should mm -hmm. try. You mm -hmm. should go out there. And mm -hmm. he, he was like, you just, you know, you're going to set a bad example for your kids, boning all these women and all mm -hmm. of this stuff. And so I was like, you know what? I'll give it another try. So I went out there uh, e-harmony dating, you know, mm -hmm. you know, trying to mm -hmm. meet a good girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. This girl, mm -hmm. this girl, right. she was like, she was a lawyer, a young girl, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. She he had all the all the uh all the good successful things that you want to find. And she was good. She she knew how to present herself. She mm -hmm. was she was quiet. She let you dominate in the bedroom, but she do this, she do that, you know, funny stuff. Oh, I'm gonna go to right. dinner with my ex-boyfriend. Oh, I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna go to girls' nights out. You know, she was always suspect in her behavior. Right. Well, at, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she was just she was pause it real quick we just talked about the chameleon again suspect behavior pay attention fellas two suspects oh she had me looking up stuff how come she doing this how come she doing that and then at that point i realized you know i was getting gamed right i was getting right. gamed. you know just when, using you. she was using me and what happened was you know I always tell guys this if you go out 
and uh-huh. she had a close group of friends. You go out with their friends and they right. cheating and they covering for her. Right. I was like, guess what? Mm-hmm. Odds are that she might likely is doing that with you. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, they're covering for her and covering for other guys. And I'm sitting there like, man, this ain't right. So in, in the pit of my stomach, I was like, this ain't right. And I stumbled upon, you know, Sandman, like everybody else gets in right. here. I stumbled, right. stumbled upon the same old guys. Right. And I, I got to see you mm-hmm. come up. Right. You know, I got to see you come from nowhere and go right. skyrocket. So that was good right. to see that, bro. Now, see, guys, y'all see them gray hairs and Coach Greg Adams beard. That's called wisdom. That's right there. What he just gave y'all, what y'all guys got to understand is that all of us older guys, we done got our ass spanked too. For sure. That's what we got the wisdom. A lot of y'all guys think that when we make videos, we just, we did everything right and we just telling y'all, you know, what to do. No. It comes from us making so many mistakes. Yep. Yeah. Whatever y'all talking about, anytime y'all guys ask me a question, I'm like, oh man, I remember I made that mistake. Yeah. Every every one of us, every one of us, uh, old dating coaches, we all done made all those mistakes, guys. That's why I try to let y'all guys know whenever you feel like you a, a simp, this, this, and that other, all this wisdom you got, whenever you hear a guy with a lot of wisdom that comes from a lot of experience, when you hear Dave, Dave Ramsey talk, Dave Ramsey always talks about how he went bankrupt and you know how he learned don't yeah. you know don't over leverage and all this other type of stuff because it comes from mistakes that's what life's about when y'all see all these videos just know my ass done got played a whole bunch of times <laughs> that's why i can see here with yeah. 700 800 videos talking about women because i done been played we've been a through a bunch of we've times been through the battles and and at some point it's, it takes a man to go you know what I, i'm not going through that no more uh, right a lot of guys don't they don't take that step They'll mm-hmm. say, okay, I'll try a new girl. I'll mm-hmm. I'll try it a little bit different this way. I'll try this and that. I, at some point, I said, you know what? I got to stop this. Simple. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I got to really take a stand and find out what it is to be a man. Uh, right. Big facts. Team Peterson, you learn from your L's, not your W's. That's what I was about to say. The loss is a lesson. You, again, these are three of the best. Kevin Samuels, Alpha Male Strategies, Coach Greg Adams, like, AMS just said about Coach that gray is called wisdom. You didn't le- you lived, you've learned. I tell people all the time when they be trying to clown me, oh, you hate women and you can't get none and this, that, and the third. And I'm doing pretty well for a single guy in Atlanta. So let's get that straight. But when they talking that shit because of my content, I have loved, I lost, I learned, and now I'm living. That simple change the way i approach things right uh, doesn't mean i'm not getting no more sex don't mean that it's just a different different way that i approached it and it started mm-hmm. working in my favor right and that's where you want it to go when it doesn't work in your favor you want to you want to evade you want to back up you want to be right. like okay all right this ain't going the way i wanted to go all right time to back up but some guys they so dumb mm-hmm. they, they think they can control the situation and then they keep going and going well she already got the advantage over you just mm-hmm. just take an l and move on Right. That's that's the thing. So that's what Coach Greg Adams just talked about, guys, is what happened is we get so invested and it's hard to take that L and go on. So what happened is yep. you done spent time going out with a woman. You done talked to her. You done spent money on a date. And it's hard because you're thinking about, man, I just can't walk away, man. I spent $50 yep. on that first date. <laughs> I spent $80 on that second date. This bitch going to give me some ass, man. I'm, I'm, right. I'm just saying, man. I ain't, and so, guys, what you got to do is it's just like with a car sometimes. Sometimes you fixing up a car and eventually at some point you just got to go and trade the car in and get, you a new get car. rid of it. Yeah. You can't just keep fixing on and that's how a woman is when you see it ain't going your way, you just got to take that L. That's the that's the hardest thing I see with men is it, it, it it's it's that we invested our money and our time yep. and it's like by goddamn, I'm going to get this woman. And see that's what you got to do. You got to be able to walk away. That's your power, bro. Again, I keep telling y'all, there's billions with a B, women in the world. Be able to walk away. What, what happens when you hold on to something too tight? Make sure I'm on camera. What happens when you hold on to something too tight? You break it. So you're trying to hold on to this woman. You're either going to break the relationship, you're going to break yourself, or you're going to break the opportunity for the relationship to grow. I'm not just talking about straight up boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, relationship type even a sexual relationship you holding on too tight you don't want to let go you're going to eventually break it or your hand is going to you're going to force yourself to let go because it's only so long you can keep this fist balled up like this and you're going to start losing your grip 
And then next thing you know, she gone. You're going to look up it's years later and you done screwed yourself because now mentally you out the game or you turn to a complete fucking savage and just don't give a damn. And then you still shooting yourself in the foot. You matter, gentlemen. I keep telling you, you matter. You're not crazy. Your lived experience matters. You know how to move around these women. Don't think you don't know how to move around them. They want the same thing you want. Again, have conversations with your friends. Because again, I say women are terrible friends. Have conversations with the women you know, your cousins. Listen to them talk at these family functions. Half the time, hell, maybe more than half the time because their ass don't like to goddamn listen anyway. Most of the time, they just want some sex too. Because I'm busy. I'm just focused on me and my baby right now. I'm just focused on school right now. I'm just focused on this right now. So they want some good dick and your ass can slide off scot-free. Stop worrying the hell out of that woman. Again, I say it all the time. She ain't that bad. She know what the fuck the inside of a Walmart look like. That bitch is not that bad. Let's keep cooking. A lot of guys do that in marriage too. They, they won't leave their wife and the, and the marriage is way off the rails. I mean, yeah. it's way off the rails. They got, they got more red flags and they refuse to just say, all right, look, let me just get rid of the broad. You know what I mean? And, right. and deal with it from that end. They'll right. go, well, we've been married six years. We've been married eight years. Mm -hmm. We got three kids. Mm -hmm. I got a house. You know what? Fuck the house. You know what I'm right. saying? Get rid right. of it. You know what I'm saying? Take care of the kids half time. Because is it worth you going through hell and, 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 and sticking around mm -hmm. where you're just going to get keep piled on? Just just take an L and go. Why you think? What, what's the biggest reason for that you think that is? Because you think it's scarcity, too much invested. Uh, why you think guys like in a long term relationship, say a guy living with a girl or a yeah. guy that's married, uh, do you think that's more financial or just a scarcity mindset, a fear of doing it, getting back into the unknown? Yeah, I think I'm gonna pause it real quick. I'm gonna address Mike's comment. He says exactly a lot of these married women are sexually frustrated. They really, really are. Kofa has a rule in the house of Kofa. We don't fuck with married women. I don't fuck with married women or even women going through a separation. If we're having a conversation. And it turns out to be a, oh, we're going through a separation. We're going through a divorce. Uh-uh. I need to see that paperwork. Because guess what? All intents and purposes, everything, you know, in today's society, the way shit is going and the way men are operating. And like they just said, they don't want to let go. By all means, that man has a right to come see you behind his wife if that comes down to it. Now, some dudes just don't care. We talked about it the other night. Some of these people... Again, it's always been the woman's idea from what I know. A lot of these people are in these open marriages and shit like that simply because financially they can't afford to separate now. They done bought too much, invested too much together financially, or they're going to stay together for the kids and now they just damn near roommates. But Mike's right. It's a lot of women that are sexually frustrated, but I don't gamble with that. I learned my lesson simping for a married woman that was being abused and all that stuff. I believed her fucking story. When she got done having her fun with me, she went right back to her goddamn husband. By then, I had caught feelings, took it again, another major ill. Fuck that shit, bro. If y'all gonna do that, I just ask you to be careful and make sure she don't know where the fuck you stay at. Let her cover her tracks. Y'all meet at a hotel, something like that. Don't bring her ass to the house and let them keep, going, uh, keep cooking. It could be scarcity because, you know, this woman's giving you some peace leave, right? They're giving it to mm -hmm. you. So mm -hmm. they're looking like, okay, I'm going to go through a drought. Mm -hmm. But I think men don't want to say they fail with women, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to look like you took an L. Mm -hmm. You don't want to look like your woman was cheating on you and manipulating you. And you got to go mm -hmm. out into the world and say, she did me dirty. She did me wrong. Right. And guys don't want to say that. And that's what prevents guys from learning from other guys. Like myself, I ain't afraid to say shit. I got simped and, you know, I did this and this girl mm -hmm. did me dirty and wrong and I got screwed in the divorce. I'm not afraid mm -hmm. to say it. Because, right. You know, most men have been in that in that spot. But guys, look, let me tell you something. Women outnumber men in this planet. There's more women than there are men here in the United States. There's more 18 year olds turning 18 than there are dirty 35 year old dusty women that ain't going to ever give you no peace leave anyway. Just. Mm -hmm. Just know that there's another woman out there. Right. If that's what you want, you're going to find her. It might take you three months. It might take you three days. It might take you six years, but mm -hmm. you're going to get another one. The, the, the thing is, Coach, women are so <laughs> – that's, that's a good way I can phrase this. Women are so 
the, the dating game is so trash yeah. that I think a lot of guys got a fear of getting back into the dating game because they remember it's grained in their head of how much trash was out there when they right. were single. And they look and they say, well, you know what? My wife is trash, but I know when right. I was dating, I was dealing with more trash than sure. this trash. Yeah. And it's like, do I really want to go back out here and deal with all these women who are going to try to use me for free meals? Yeah. Use me for time? Or do I really just deal with this little nag right here who gets on my nerves, but at least I know what I'm going to get from her? You go back mm. out here and I got to go back out here and I got to deal with these chicks who just playing games, who just right. passing time, who just really, you know, they know from the jump they ain't into you like that. But, you right. know, I'm bored and to, the, to I meet the guy I really want, I guess you can pass the time. Well, more, so, most men, get, I think most men get into relationships for that. Yeah. Like they get in for that, right? You go on the dating app, you date 10 women, nine are trash and one is decent. Mm -hmm. And you go, well, I can date another trash woman or I could just make it work with this one. But the mm -hmm. one you're making it work for ain't really that good anyway. You know, she just was better than the other nine. Right. And so right. you got in and then now you realize she was trash too. But right. now you hooked. Right. Just realize she was trash. She was just better than the trash that you were dealing with. So that's why you committed. Right. She was clean trash. She was clean <laughs> trash. Yeah. Them brothers get all three. Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. Got it. Hotter than fish grease. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. Let me slide back up real quick. I want to bring up this comment that uh, I forgot who said it was a quiet storm. Yeah. Boom. Going back to the military women. He said, Kofa, that happened on one of my ships. She let the entire boat smash her. She got kicked off the ship, but ended up racking up over $37,000 being a boat 304. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. And the boat is out there on the water, y'all. When I say these women are freaks and they don't care, how are you going to be on a boat full of men selling ass and don't think that's going to get out? Same thing happened um, with my homegirl situation she was explaining to me. Charlotte was a boat 304. Every payday, for those who don't know, the military gets paid promptly on the 1st and the 15th of the month. So on the 1st and the 15th of the month, she had a line of dudes outside her door because when a quiet storm, correct me if I'm wrong, you can be out on that water for months. Like how the military air force may go over to some, you know, landlocked base, you know, over in the Middle East or somewhere else like that. And they may, may be gone for a year or whatever. That's damn near like that with the ship. They're, they're going to go to their different ports and land here and get off and have, you know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks here where they're stationed, but they're still living on the ship. And then when your ass um, leave the port, you're literally in the middle of the ocean. How much money you think that other chick was making? If Quiet Storm says that chick was making $37,000, I guarantee you that other chick was probably making the same. Because you got to think, you got young men on a ship they don't have any other bills, no other place they gotta, they can go or want to go. They're stuck there in the middle of the ocean. So sometimes she was busting them cats in the head for half of their damn check. There's no telling how much money she made. And she did that for months on end, multiple men. So at the lowest of the low, just say a E1, a, a new private coming into the military, you still gonna make yeah, close to $2,000 a check. So if she's charging half and she didn't let 15 dudes run through her for 15 minutes a piece, how much money did she make in a couple of hours plus her paycheck? Again, brothers, start thinking, start watching these women, how they carry themselves, how they speak, their eye contact. Matter of fact, sit back and watch how she approach, how either she either approaches or deals with other men before you go holler at her. Watch her body language with certain types of dudes. Watch how she smiles at certain types of men. She's going to, she's letting the world know for those that are watching, she's going to let you know if that's her type. Now, you may not know what the conversation was like, but again, body language, eye contact, be able to put that shit in your ears and in your brain when you catch her in a lie. 
or she's double talking or talking out of both sides of her mouth, as we say in here in the South, she talking out of both sides of her mouth, you're going to be able to decipher what the hell she was talking about. But you just heard from two of the best, AMS and CGA, about how they simp, about the stuff they were doing, the money they were paying for, and then again, not letting go. You don't want to let go because, man, she's going to come off some ass. I done did this shit. Next thing you know, you're on date 15 with blue balls. Let alone, she's getting take-home meals for the kids, and she's really sliding it off to another dude. 